Hey everyone! So some people asked me to show you how to get horror weapons without leaving the first region of Chersonese. I have featured horror weapons extensively in my weapon guides as they are easy to obtain and exceptionally strong, especially in the early game. Outward's progression system is highly linked to gear and having a good weapon early on is a very good way to obtain a lot of power. Quick reminder that the best way to get hard weapons fast early game is still to leave the first region and to rush the Cabal of Wind temple in the Omeka forest. That being said, if you are kind of a completionist and want to clear the entire first region before leaving, or take your time exploring, here is a quick guide on how to get any horror weapon of your choice without leaving the first region. First you need to craft a fang weapon. I quickly kill the hyenas in the starting zone and get some potato bones. Keep in mind that this does not always drop, so you might have to wander around the open world to kill a few more of them. Then I advise you buy an iron weapon from the blacksmith in Cieso. If you really do not want to spend any silver on this, you can still raid the bandit camp next to Blister's Burrow, but this is a risky solution. Then you can buy the fang weapon recipe of your choice, or do it by memory as shown here. Now to craft a horror weapon we need one palladium, one occult remain and one horror kitten. I advise you head into the ghost pass represented by the Ford icon on the map. A lot of new players struggle with the Ghost Pass, but in reality it is quite easy to deal with. There are spiritual varnishes scattered all around the place that allow you to deal very high damage to ghosts and eliminate them with ease. Do not try to fight them with early game weapons if you do not plan on using these varnishes, as they are quite resistant to physical damage and hit like trucks. In the Ghost Pass you can find one Palladium Ore just after the small Corrupted Zone. Do not stay in the Corruption too long as it is quite expensive to remove outside of the Antique Plateau. But in order to get the occult remains, just clear the dungeon and you are very likely to get one at some point. This is actually the only ingredient that is not guaranteed to drop. If you do not get one into the ghost pass, you can try to delve into the dungeon beyond the ghost pass. Then, if you have both of these, you now need a horror kitten. Horror kittens can be obtained on shelled horrors, a very tough enemy, even in the mid game. There is one of these beyond the ghost pass, but killing it might prove troublesome. I advise you craft quite a lot of tripwire traps with what you collected along the way. You should also try to make it fight the monsters that are around it. There is generally a mantis shrimp and some birds close to it.
And then once the beast is dead, you can just craft a horror weapon of your choice by combining all these ingredients with the fang weapon you made. It took me about 50 minutes from character creation to obtain this weapon, so any player should be able to get it pretty fast. There you go, I hope you all enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. If there are any things you want me to cover about Outward, just let me know and I will see what I can do. Do not forget to subscribe if you want more Outward content. See ya!